Slingshot, as with any review, this may contain spoilers. This felt pointless. It's not a terrible film, but it felt like a waste of time. The story follows a trio of astronauts on a years-long mission to reach Saturn's moon Titan. The mission becomes compromised when part of the ship suffers damage, but the ship reports no signs of damage. This causes the astronauts to question whether they should abandon the mission and return to Earth, or continue with the slingshot maneuver that will catapult them on course to the Titan, but may also send them off into deep space because of the condition of the ship. The movie tried so hard to make the audience question what we think is happening that it felt in its execution of telling an emotional and engaging story. Instead of focusing on misdirection, the film should have focused on getting us invested in the characters so that the audience could feel what the characters are going through. The title of the movie refers to using the gravitational force or gravity assist of Jupiter to put them on course to reach Titan. There was a scene that really bothered me from a technical standpoint. It was mentioned that the math of the slingshot is programmed into the computer. I imagine this process would be automated using the onboard system. However, when the crew attempted the slingshot, it was done manually, but in the dumbest way possible. Casey Affleck's character used his finger on a touch screen to move a line on the screen until that line was placed on the projected trajectory of the route. Arguably, the most important part of the mission was the slingshot, and to leave it to possible human error was dumb and weird. Obviously, this was done for dramatic purposes, and to make that scene feel more important. I would understand if there was an issue with the navigation system and then you would have to resort to manual navigation. Things like that stood out in the story as being poorly thought out. Another odd scenario involved a gun on the ship. It was laughable that a crew member had a gun. The movie made it seem like that character knew he would need a gun. It was odd to say the least. The film played with the notion that space and hibernation could affect one's mind. One could suffer from hallucinations, memory loss, and other symptoms? That's an interesting concept, and that's what I alluded to earlier in the review about how the filmmakers were more concerned with misdirection than telling a solid story. The execution here was superficial at best. Nothing of what was shown from that concept was compelling, at least not to me. Overall, the movie is not very good, but that doesn't mean you would enjoy it and it may be worth watching. If you stuck around this long, why not give the video a like, try it out, see if it works, subscribe, check out my other videos, leave a comment, and let me know what you think of the film. See you in the next review.